Hi everyone, it's Mika, and I'm coming with some horrendous news. So I just posted about the blizzard. It's probably not a blizzard, but I feel like it is. So that's when I left work. It was like whenever I posted that, I think it was like 3:30 my time. It's 6:30. I think I got home at 5:45. So I sat there for probably 10 minutes. Um Try to get all the ice off and then I was going to leave the exit and I was going up the hill and there's a light there there was a car stuck there so I was waiting 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 and then I decided to go back down the hill because the car behind me went down they were stuck the person in front of me was stuck I don't know why I didn't think to help but I didn't so then I tried to go down the hill and I got stuck so then Three cars passed me. No one tried to help. Then another car stopped. A woman and a man got out. And they were like, I should go back down the hill and try to go out the flat way. Because there's two exits from where I work. So I listened to their advice. I went down the hill. Then I got stuck again. Then my coworker and my best buddy at work, he happened to be in the parking lot. And he got in my car and he got me unstuck. Then he left. And then I was like, okay. So I followed the tracks that some people have been using. I made it almost to the top of the hill. Then I got stuck again. Then I was sitting there for like 30 minutes. And then a truck came this way. I'm on the exit. The light is here. They turned in. They stopped right where I was. They rolled their window down. I rolled my window down. I hope I don't cry because this was like the worst ever and why I'm making this video. I have to get some money to move because this was just so horrible. Okay. So I never been. So he just looked at me and didn't say anything. I was like, any ideas? Cause I'm stuck. Right. So I was like, why is he looking at me and not saying nothing? And he was like, well, there was a passenger. So he was like, well, he could come push or something. And then they had seen me trying to dig out the snow from my tires. So the guy was like, so the guy got out the passenger side and came over and I don't know what he was going to do. I thought he was going to push. So I got back in the car and shut the door and he was looking at the back tire, the other back tire. Then he came around and I rolled the window down because I was going to give him the scraper through the passenger side to um, try to scrape out the, the snow from where I was stuck. Man, I was so close to the dang light. It's so sad. So he touched it, then he put it down, and he grabbed my purse. And I do not, I have a problem where I don't think fast. So I didn't think just let him leave. I tugged with him over my purse. And I was like, can I at least, then he ran with it. I said, can I at least have my phone? I don't know why I did that. Then he ran, got in the van, in the truck with the guy. The guy kind of like smirked at me like, yeah, I just got your purse. I'm thinking... I have so much vital information in that purse. It's ridiculous. Like everything you shouldn't have in your purse at this moment in time, I have it in there, including my tax records. Like I don't even know. I don't know how I'm going to even do my taxes because all my just anything that you wouldn't want a person to steal from you as far as paper documents right now at this moment is with these two thieves. So they have my address. I don't feel safe right now because they have my address and they're thieves and they're mean, but I'm packing right now. Like, I'm not even joking. This is not a YouTube, like, makeup story. Like, I have no dude here. My kids are little. Um, I'm not a fighter. <laughs> I feel like these dudes could come here or something. They probably just wanted my money. So that's what they got. They probably don't care about robbing me. I live in a hood apartment. Let me just tell you guys, I'm in like a beautiful neighborhood with the hood apartment in the middle of it. That's where I live. But it wouldn't matter where I lived. If I lived across the street in the beautiful townhomes, they would have still had my driver's license with my address. So I don't feel safe. There's no man here. There's no protector. And I'm sorry, you know, some people might say, well... That's like feminist or something. I don't know what's the word for it, but men are made stronger. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> so I would like a big, strong man here, my husband, 
to protect the household, but I don't have that. I just feel unsafe, okay? If, if I was still married to my ex-husband, I would feel safe. Um, so now I'm packing to go nowhere. I don't know, you guys. I just feel like I want to leave, but I need thousands of thousands of dollars. And if you know from before, um, if you know from before in my videos, I always talking about I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler that doesn't make hap things happen. It was so funny because on my way to work, this is going to be long because I'm upset and there might be a part two. And I'm going to use this channel like right now. I'm going to try to do a Cyber Monday oil sales campaign and I'm going to run ads to it and I'm going to blast it wherever I can. I'm going to try. I have to be at work at 5 a.m. at that job where my son is at right now. He gets off at 7 and 632. I can't even get him. Because it's like a blizzard out there. So I hope that the money I did a transfer from my bank account to his PayPal. I hope he gets it so he can take an Uber home. If not, I don't know what the heck is about to happen. I'm going to have to go out in the blizzard to get my kid way back in Kansas. So I'm going to do some perfume ads. It's going to be unrelated to weight loss because I don't have time to go make it a new channel. And I feel nervous living here now. And I'm going to go into why it's difficult for me to move. Maybe in another video because there's so many reasons why I'm in this spot. Okay. Um, so be patient with non-related weight loss videos because I just want to feel safer. I want to move. And I don't know. Maybe a miracle could happen and I could sell like a thousand perfumes tomorrow. <laughs> Or maybe um, pray for me, um, pray for my safety and safety of others. And every good Samaritan is not good. And then when I, oh, I called the police. I sat in the back of the police car for my first time because it was so freezing outside and snowy. So they had me sit in the back of their police car. I was nervous because you can't get out. And there was glass separate. I never been in a police car until today. So they took my information, whatever. And... Then they made sure I got onto the street. So when I got onto the street, guess what? Was at the top of the ramp to get on the highway. A stuck car. I was like, I will never, ever accept help or get out and help anybody. I'm sorry. I was just robbed, you know? Like, and you should never try to fight back. Like, even if they take all my information and go get a mortgage and credit cards and do identity theft... It doesn't matter compared to my life and my kids would have no parent at all. So, but I don't think, like if some emergency happens, I don't process stuff quickly. I need time to think about it. I didn't even think. Ugh. So, it's really sad. That's what just happened to me. And I'm home and I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad because I'm single. And I got to go to work every dang day. Like, that will make me want to cry but I got to be thankful for life, you know? There's so much to be thankful for. But it's just messed up that I got to go to work, this job every day. And this is a wine, okay? Can I just wine, please? Because <laughs> I just want to wine. But I'm going to this job, and then now I'm going to go to this job at 5 in the morning, which I need to pull an all-nighter and create some kind of website. Um, I made that Mika's Fasting Wait. I want to change my name because I'm scared they're going to find my name. <laughs> Because my business cards are in there. Like, every document is in there that they could possibly need to know everything about me. And I just bought that purse, like, four days ago. And it was my brand new nice purse. But it was only $20 because Kmart's going out of business. But I liked it. My appointment book, everything's in there, you guys. Like, my whole year, 2018's in there. So, I'm going to make a video for Cyber Monday Oil... Um, sale. So, I'm going to run the numbers to see what the heck do I even have to do. Like, I need thousands of dollars. <laughs> That's not going to happen. So prayers are good. Prayers is the best thing because God can, God is the protector. Like, a single woman doesn't have to have a man to protect her. Like, God is the protector. And prayers and all that good stuff. So... Thanks for watching. That's what just happened. And this is going to be business. And if you have any ideas of what I could change my name, I don't want my name on here.
Like, I don't feel safe. I don't want them to know anything else about me that they already know. I hope they just threw my purse away. Took the money, took the credit cards, and threw everything away. They even took my blood pressure medicine that's in my purse. And my headphones. I was just so lucky. I said, can I please at least have my phone? But my phone was sitting there in my car. Thank God I was able to call the police and stuff. That's the first time I've been robbed. And I lived in New York so many years. And people always talk about New York. But I just got robbed in Kansas City. And not New York. So. I didn't even eat today yet. I didn't eat yet. I just came home and just sat down for a second. Spoke to my kids. I wish they were with me because... Each of us could have took a tire and got the snow out. Maybe this wouldn't have happened, but it could have happened. Like, I don't know. I believe in a lot of things. Like, you could prevent stuff, but you can't. I don't even know what I believe, but it happened, and it can't be undone. So, I got baked. I'm baking the chicken. I My appetite is not there at all. Like, I'm so upset with my situation, and I'm so pissed and I'm like, really? Did they really just rob me? And I'm thinking they're going to help me. And did I really almost could have got killed, but I didn't. So I have my life. Man, my kids would have no mom and no dad. Like, man, that would have been so horrible. So I hope I could just be safe in my house until I could raise like thousands of dollars to move. I don't even know if my credit is good because now they want to know your credit. I don't even know if my credit is good enough to move. But I know if I have like six months rent that I could leave. I'm not asking anyone for money. I'm just telling you guys why you're about to see some perfume oil or whatever kind of business videos coming. Okay? So be safe. Stay warm. It's a blizzard outside. And I, man, you're going to get some weight loss results tomorrow, but I don't know what time because I have to go to work at, I need to leave here at like 420 to get to work. And then I work. Yeah, I'm not even going to say what time I work because I don't need people to know where I am and where I am not, okay? But there will be an adult in the house with my children. A male adult. Not my man, though. <laughs> Bye.